We're in the sign of Aquarius. You are the 11th sign. You are the sign of the giver. Before we even go anywhere, what I'm getting is for you this month to not be so bloody Aquarian. So hold back. Hold back from, from giving too much. Right? That makes sense. So Aquarius by default, you have aqua, water, in the name. But your element is not water, your element is air. So there's a part of you that is quite divided. You have these deep emotions, hence the water sign, the renewal part. And the air sign, which means once you are emotionally affected by anything, you will be out of breath a lot. And the reason why I mentioned this before we even go into anything is because this month we have two supermoons. One on the 1st of August, one on the 31st of August. And supermoons mean that the moon is closer to Earth, therefore it appears larger in the sky. And since the, the moon governs our emotions, you will be emotionally way more... Um, well, compromise is the word. We all are now compromised, but it, it just means that we're looking at emotions more. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're compromised by it in, in a negative way. But um, emotions, um, and there's this saying, truth wants out, that's all on the plate. Your job is to not go in it um, thinking that you have to give your all if whoever you is um, is not giving their all. And it also depends on whether or not this is not about relationships. Um, it's about, you know, wherever you work. If you feel that you put the work in nobody else's, obviously, logically speaking, it is not the job for you. Easier said than done. But the point is, August is going to hit you like a bulldozer by default, based on the supermoons. There's a video that I recorded, how you can harness the strengths of these supermoons and how you can go about it, and which days of the month are actually super powerful for you, if that makes sense. So there's help on this channel. Just find that um, uh, supermoon uh, reading after you've done with this one. I think I call it um, a tale of two supermoons or something like this. It has a weird title. Anyway, so there is help. And now let's move into what we do here. We will divide the reading into sections. We will look at the overall energy for the months of August for the sign of Aquarius before we then move into your emotional core. And the guides just talked about the emotional core. That's what they do. You know, you, you plan a reading, you want to do things, and they just keep talking about something else. But again, I only work here. What that means is when the guides start, start saying stuff before we even go there, it's important that it gets highlighted, right? So just be aware, Aquarians that by default, because of the two supermoons and you by default being a softer sign, um, you need to find a space to breathe. You know, you need to have some, some time also for yourself and, and do less. That makes sense, right? And um, before we do any of this, let me introduce you to my guest. This is my friend Claire. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford. The, um, what's it called? The link. The link, that's the word. The, the link to the, the Facebook page is in the description box. And you will go, when you, when you, when you go there, you will see the Facebook page. And there's loads of um, uh, what is on offer, you know, what, what therapies are being offered. And there are workshops there that are awesome. I read something about um, a cacao ceremony or something mm -hmm. coming. Yeah. Mm, I might join this one. And if you are interested in what she does, let me just plug something. In November of this year, I will be doing a two-day workshop um, at... The not a tree can't wait i haven't haven't been there yet so i haven't haven't seen it yet but i can't wait and it's a two-day shamanic uh, workshop it's an egyptian themed shamanic workshop which means it's, it's a bit in your face <laughs> you know um 140 pounds for two full days um check it out in the link in the description box below and now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of august 2023 for the sign of Aquarius. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Here we go. Okay, um, for this it is saying there's lots of self-care that's needed um, for this month. Um, and uh, to protect yourself, so push away whatever is draining you just for this month. Um, and bring in love for yourself, um, heart-based, um, but very much rest, renewal, taking care of your needs, and that is the only way abundance will come your way. So what you're looking for will come your way when you've got that balance and doing what's right for you. Um, and uh, very much uh, going to journey and going to your dreams, your meditation, things like that, and you'll get more clarity on what you're looking for. 
Awesome. Thank you so much. And now we're looking at your emotional core. I'm drawn to um, the, the play these guys. Let's have a look what we got for Aquarius. Aquarius? Aquarians? I think is what you're called. <laughs> you could do... Now, I probably think that that applies to a lot of signs, but um, you could do with a break, and you could do with an extended break, that makes sense. They're not asking you to go to South Park Dad for six months, right, and, and just leave. I'm not getting this for you. But you do not recharge your batteries well at this point in time. And in order for you to do anything with your emotions and anything with um, manifesting love or even in the relationship, um, you're not in the highest energy at this point in time. You could do with a break from everything. And how this sort of manifests here is if... You said, I'm going to take an extended break, I'm going away for a month. Any self-respecting partner will say, oh, God, I'm coming with. And I'm not hearing that you have to go alone. But even if you, let's just say you, you go on a break, you hear that it's August, right? It's 17 months, the kids are off school. So if you say, well, they're going on holiday. That's all good. Number one, it's not going to be an extended break if you're the person that, gives, that, that brings them all the food. I've seen people that go to Pontins or Butlers, Butlins, whatever it's called, right? And then they bring people with them, they can all walk. And there's a buffet. And then they say, what do you want for breakfast? That's not what you should be doing. Similarly, should you go on holiday, holiday because you need a break? Whoever you're going with, they need to understand that during that holiday, it is your vacation too. And if you could get some me time, just half an hour, sitting somewhere reading a book, right? Um, would be so important for you to, to just have me time in the midst of always being there for others because you're Aquarius, you're the sign of the giver. It is in your nature to wanting to be supportive. And while the guys are not asking you not to be supportive, you should be the most supportive to yourself at this point in time. But there is an extended break energy here, which means, and this is just the way that I'm getting this, um, even a three-day, uh, sorry, a three-week break might not quite cut it. Obviously, it's very difficult for anybody in this climate uh, to just take three months off, right? I get that. And yet, I only work here. What I'm getting is that would be the time you would need. It's, it's sort of, you know, a quarter of a year. Do feck all. I hope you can do that. <laughs> right? Good <laughs> luck. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of August 2023. You're watching Thomas Tarot readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And now we're looking at opportunities for August 2023. Okay, so when we go through uh, the obstacles that are in our way and we shed the old skin from that and we start listening to our inner being, um, that's when things are going to start coming to fulfilment and are going to start coming your way. So in, uh, I'd be saying right from the beginning there of having that time, taking that step back, refilling your cup, shedding that old skin of the stuff that you don't need or the people around you that are, um, that are draining you, um, that's when the trust will start coming in. So, uh, and uh, what you're requiring will flow through and that uh, fulfillment will come through for you. So it's very much a, a very, um, be there for you. The opportunities will flow through if you're there for you and heart-centered. Thank you so much. So, that's all we got this month. Please remember, there is a Love Life reading on this channel for the month of August. I only record these when the guys ask me to. They ask me to because we're in a time where we have four supermoons in a row. Two of them this month. I recorded a video about the supermoons this month, how to deal with them, how, how we can harness um, their energy. Um, and if you are local to Kanak, there will be full moon circles every time the full moon happens at Heavenly Treasures in Kanak. In any case, should you not be, there's still the video that you could watch. Um, they are there for guidance. So my guides obviously want your happiness. They want you want to give you guidance and be recording this for this purpose. So it would be wise um, if you, you know, 
just allowed yourself to take some time and watch these videos as well. That's what they're there for. Anyway, thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.